Hi, this is Jeremy Fox. This is my week two Objective C1 uh, course re video review for uh, the second week activity. Um, I didn't see any specific uh, questions asked for this week uh, as far as the uh, video review. So uh, I'm just figured I'd cover what I did and show you an example of it and uh, cover if I had any issues or anything. Um, which I can cover that right now. I didn't really run into any issues uh, at all. Everything was pretty, uh, pretty simple, pretty basic stuff. Um, here we go. Start week two activity code. Uh, I just like to separate things uh, with comments, as you'll see. So this is where my week two activity code starts. Change the background color of the view. So this is the main view, or the window rather. Uh, UI color, scroll view, textured background color. And I have a navigation in here so I can have a title bar at the top just to have my name and the course on there, which you'll see when I launch it in the emulator. Uh, I set up the, uh, a couple floats to be used in my labels. For uh, some of the labels, like the left width was the ones that would need to be on the left, like author and published. Uh, on the right width, obviously, the, the opposite of that. Uh, and then here we go through and just meet all the requirements. So like the first requirement, create a UI label and place it on top of the view. This is used as the title of the book, center the text in the label. So there you go. The Da Vinci Code is the book I chose. Here's where we create the label with the CG rec make. Uh, white color, blue background. The font is Helvetica, size 20, and it's centered. And we add it to my view. And that just repeats pretty much over and over for all these requirements with changing background colors and the text and some of the layout stuff changes to move it around uh, that's pretty much it we'll kind of run down through there you can see my uh, summary uh, what else oh and then of course the line break so with this one I needed multiple lines so line break mode word wrap give it six lines center the text uh, Here's the list of five items, five things talked about in the book, which is the NS array. And then we loop through the array and uh, add commas to each one using the string in it with format. So I pass in the current item and append a, a comma and a space to each one unless it is the last one in the array in which we just show it because we don't need to add a comma or a space at the end. Uh, and then the rest are just more labels with different text. That's it. There's the end of week two activity code and the start of week one. So that's it for this week. And I've already got it running. I believe it's right there. So that's what you can see as my uh, turned in project or uh, project uh, with the scroll view background behind the whole thing. Blue and white text on the top labels, green and red. Looks like green and I think that's like a dark brown, or I'm sorry, a dark uh, dark gray. Uh, yellow and purple maybe. Uh, some kind of lighter blue, scion maybe. With a black background, black text, gray background. Or uh, This is an orange text that has a black drop shadow. And it is the, a uh, grouped table view background color, which is part of UI color. Uh, white background, magenta text color, and then this one is black text and let's see, that was under page background color. All part of UI color. Nothing special to get any of these. They're just part of UI color. Uh, inherited from system color, I believe. Uh, that's it. So, thank you for watching and I am signing off.